right. Wow. If anyone would ever see it, and yeah. ended up being special. Yeah. Um, uh, so I thought I would just kind of start at the beginning and, and sort of talk about your family a little bit. Okay. Right. Um, well, Jane. Yes, Adam. I, uh, I saw, a few months ago, I saw the great Steve Martin and the great Tina Fey I know. do something similar to this. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were really good. They were great. Yeah. Um, and so Mr. Martin had a terrific opening question. And mm -hmm. so um, for the sake of tradition and lack of ideas, I thought I would just kind of open with a similar, with similar question okay. for you. Um, which is, uh, in how many ways would you say that your, I don't know, your work and your life uh, has been improved since working with me? <laughs> you can just take all the time you need. Okay. Um, well, I, I, uh, I will say that when I started working with you, I started smoking again. Uh-huh, okay, <laughs> sure. Which was, which was a, a positive. But that's also Lizzie Kaplan's and Lizzie, fault, right? Yeah, Lizzie yeah. Kaplan's fault as well. And um, and I will say that when I stopped working with you, I quit smoking. Excellent. Um, um, and, uh, you know, uh, uh, on a serious note, I had a blast working oh, with yeah. you. Okay. I had a blast oh. working with everybody on Party Down. Yeah. So as, when you read the book, you'll read it. We'll talk about it tonight, too, but it was... Uh, uh, a happy accident, if you will, of casting. Yeah. You know, you know how that is when you throw people together who don't know each other, and you hope for the best, and, and uh, the best I think occurred. Yeah, we'll talk about party down later, but I think it was definitely a, an accident of sorts because none of us knew what it was. Right. If anyone would ever see it, and it yeah. ended up being special. Yeah. Um, uh, so I thought I would just kind of start at the beginning and, and sort of talk about your family a little bit. Okay. Right. I'm from an Irish Catholic family on the south side of Chicago, and my parents um, did that big manifest destiny from the city to the south suburbs, and they bought a house for like $19,000. Right. Um, uh, you know, it was the drinking culture. I was born yeah. in 1960, so everybody was doing the Mad Men thing and yeah. um, having cocktail parties and... Uh, uh, singing and my parents loved musicals and so you know I, I mean any of the anxiety and uh, any of the problems I've had in my life had nothing to do with my family sure all my fault sure <laughs> well you called your dad a classic Irish cut up yes what what would you say that that well for my dad he was uh, very much into the soft shoe and he had he had his own language and what I love is that my daughter now uses a lot of his stuff and my uh -huh. dad's been dead for seven eight years she's never met him and um, he had his own phrases, like, uh, uh, you know, his, his own little songs, like, I got things to do, places to go, people to see. And he wore putter <laughs> pants, he wore blue pants that had, were elasticized, and he wore them on Wednesdays when he uh, was off from the bank and he went to Double D for his Kapitakis, that's Dunkin' Donuts for his coffee. Um, I was Jane Rodomy, my sister was Julie Anakins, my brother was Bob Rodomy, my mom was LT for Long Thing. And uh, the telephone was the telephonic communicator. Yeah. Upstairs was UL, upper upper level, uh -huh. and DL, uh, lower level, double L, double L, lower level, and uh, uh, yeah. It sounds like you and, and your brother and sister, and, and it, you always wanted to crack your dad up. Yes. You were gaining traction. Yes. We, make him laugh. One of the things that I learned in my family, which has just kept me in good stead, is being the butt of the joke is actually a badge of honor. Uh -huh. You know, right. we would find the weakness in each other and we would go after it and no sure. one laughed harder than the person being ripped apart. Right. <laughs>